It is more than just an opinion, but a real fact to describe the executive governor of Kano State, Malam Ibrahim Shekharo, the Saradona of Kano, as a great achiever that in no small measure brought about various positive changes in the state. His human development policy and godly disposition have endeared him to the people of Kano. This is generally believed to be the secret behind his being the first and only civilian governor to secure a second term in the state. Thereafter, his continued determination and commitment to providing basic amenities, infrastructure as well as prompt response to the earnings of the electorate elicited appeals from within and outside Kano on the need for the people's governor to extend his good works to the rest of Nigerians by running for the office of the president. These calls continue to persist until Thursday, the 5th of August 2010, when Malam Ibrahim Shekaro accepted to join the race. The historic event took place at the International Conference Center Abuja. by the dignitaries and the well-wishers that cut across the country, political, non-political, that are here to witness this occasion. Because this occasion is one of its kind that is happening here at the Federal Capital Territory. And that is the official declaration of His Excellency Malan Ibrahim Shakarau declaring to be the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And after this, we believe Nigerians, political and non-political, will finally leave the Messiah that Nigerians have been looking forward to, a man that do not do business as usual, a man that believes in integrity, a man that believes in straightforwardness, truthfulness, and believes in developmental projects. Before Governor Shekharov took office as governor of Kano State, Sadly, Kano was known at that time for riots and social unrest. But the fact that now today that Kano has become one of the most peaceful and stable states in Nigeria. On their Governor Shekharau. I have been told that Governor Shekharau more than once. And I truly believe him that his ambition to be president is motivated by his sense of patriotism and commitment to the unity and progress of Nigeria. The achievements of Governor Shekharau in Kano State in areas such as agriculture, roads, water supply, primary health delivery, education, and the poverty alleviation fully meet these criteria, thereby qualifying him as a true progressive leader. Indeed, I have been informed that he has increased the number of secondary schools in Kano from 271 when he took office to about 700 now. This is a fantastic achievement. Governor Shekharau has been able to foster peace and mutual respect among the various 
ethnic and religious groups in Kano State, a cosmopolitan state which mirrors the diversities and complexities of Nigeria itself. This attribute is a challenge to other progressive leaders who may have the same ambition to serve our country. Today, Nigerians are faced with a choice. We have to decide to choose our leaders of tomorrow. And on this occasion, at this venue, we are committed to support the presidential aspirations of our brother, Manas Ibrahim Shikharo. We are doing so because we know him. We know him to be a detribalized Nigerian, a focused Nigerian, a honest Nigerian, a dedicated Nigerian, one that does not believe in the divisive politics of extra-religious politics. Shekharo, we believe you take us to the promised land. And we are here on this occasion to lend our support to his leadership, to his aspirations. I am assured, Mano Shekharo, that the people of North Eastern State are more than ever before ready to ensure that all the states in the North Eastern State are captured by NPP and the vote of the people of North Eastern State are delivered to ANPP and by implication to our presidential candidate in Atlanta, Mala Ibrahim Shekharo. I am extremely delighted to stand before this August gathering for the official declaration and operation of the only two times governor of Palo State, Mala Ibrahim Shekharo, and the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, under the banner of the All Nigerian People's Party. I am here on behalf of the Northwest Zone, the those that consist Kaduna State, Kano State, Jigawa State, Katina State, Zampara State, Sogodo State, and of course, Kevin State, my home state. I want also to assure this gathering that members of the ANPB and of course, people of the Northwest are in a total support of Malik Shekharov's aspiration to be the next president of this county so that we will raise power and out the PDP out of government from 2011. Today marks a turning point in the history of our party. It marks a turning point in the history of the Indian nation that the prominent Nigerian, a tested governor, a man that is accessible, a man that is acceptable to Nigerians, has come out to declare his intention to offer himself for service to this great nation. The people of the South South, I represent first and foremost at those states where I was governor. And the total sounds of the leader, the principal leader of the ANPP, to say, I am very forced to say that Dr. Shekharao, we are strongly behind you. I am wearing two hats today, one is representing Southwest, and I must tell you, Southwest is. 100% committed to Shakarao. Southwest is 100% committed to Shakarao. As far as Chief Harry Akode is concerned, I'm wearing two hats. I'm with Southwest. At the same time, I'm planning to be chairman of ALPP. Nigeria! We came here all the way from Niger Delta region, from our respective states, to give a good wind message for our dear governor, whose attitudes or whose personalities or whose intellectual capabilities has endeared us to him. We know today Nigeria is in a fix, and in the use of this country, who have the higher population who had the franchise and the highest voting strength to not rise up to the challenge 
Then, what we will tell our generations to come. On that note, every other youth in Nigeria, all you. Personally, I know the governor, I'm not actually talking to the one on one, but we have seen in our organizations and other forums. We know he is very capable to deliver every mandate that will position Nigeria as the most civilized country, as the most developing country, not only in Africa, but in the world at large. MPP! Distinguished and respected ladies and gentlemen, allow me to introduce myself. My name, as you all know, is Ibrahim Shekarao, and I was born 55 years ago. My father was a police officer who served the Kano Native Authority and rose through the ranks to retire as a chief inspector. He was a family man and highly disciplined. He was as good as his word and was considered a leader in our community. He taught us early to be disciplined, to tell the truth, and to look to the good side of everyone. Growing up in the barrack, therefore, I learned naturally to mix and be friends with everyone without caring where they come from or what their language, culture, or belief was. Thus, my early upbringing and the environment in which I grew up gave me a, new, a unique, non-discriminatory outlook to people and naturally prepared me for higher responsibilities in life, be it as a professional teacher, a school principal, a unionist, a senior civil servant, and presently as governor of Kano State. As governor of Kano State, where it was legend that I gave three senior positions in government to non-indigenous to ensure minority communities in my state are fully represented in our government. I love my country and I have great respect for all our citizens. I admire their determination, resilience and entrepreneurial spirit and I know that as a people, there is nothing we cannot do if we work together. And I believe Nigeria is a great country and we can make it a better place for ourselves and for future generations yet and born. <laughs> Since then, this great man continues to gain more support and popularity in all parts of the country. His popularity manifested more at the AMPP National Convention held on January 15, 2011 in Abuja. Nigerians to use their vote to put the AMPP in government. The AMPP in government will not let Nigerians down. We will want to save the best interest of our people. It is in the best interest of Nigerians not to allow one political party to remain in for too long. If change is effected, this will spur competition in the political arena. Hence, at any given time, those who are in power will always look over their shoulders 
and work hard to serve the best interests of Nigeria. The results are counted state by state, and then this table at the center that you see, where INEC monitors and members of the election committee are seated, will serve as the coalition center. Agents of presidential aspirants are advised to be following events and observe proceedings. This is the beginning of a rebirth. ANPP is going through a revolution. A revolution that will lead to a rebirth. And ANPP will be very strong again. I am very proud of the leadership. Ogona Yaono, I think, will make us proud. I will implore all the other members of this party to work hard to give the party another lease of life. Today, distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen, this probably is the last chance that we can make this tremendous effort to bring about change that will ensure the survival of our young democracy here in Nigeria. Because today, distinguished delegates, I am calling on Nigerians to try the All Nigeria People's Party to see the difference we promise which we shall deliver. Personally, I think I stand for something which is of value to Nigeria and which should be valued by Nigerians. We feel ashamed when we see the position of Nigeria vis-a-vis -vis other countries because whereas they are moving forward we take several steps back and if we are not careful we shall one day find ourselves totally out of the list of the committee of nations because as people move forward and we regress backwards we shall disappear from the map and that is why I say we must boldly present ourselves to manage the affairs of this country and if we have had enough of PDP then you have to be very careful about whom you put at the helm of affairs in ANPP because there is no point getting rid of PDP only to bring people who are no better. ANPP ANPP One Nigeria One Nigeria Justice Auz billahi min ash-shaitan ar-rajim Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Ya Excellency the national chairman of our great party, your excellencies, the governors of Borno and Yobi states, your excellencies, former governors and deputy governors here present, leaders and elders of the ANPP, distinguished delegates, Ladies and gentlemen, today is indeed a day of great history. It is a day of greatness of our party. It is a day and great moment of change for the All Nigeria People's Party in Nigeria. I wish to congratulate the delegates 
and the entire members of our party nationwide for their perseverance, their commitment to the progress of the ANPP for the last 12 years. It is your commitment, your determination to move the party forward that has brought us to this very point. It is time to pause, it is time to review, it is time to invigorate our commitment to our dear nation by voting the party AMPP for a change in Nigeria. It is for this purpose that I am making myself available to our very dear delegates to be given the opportunity to steer the ship of this expected change in our dear nation. No Nigerian is in doubt that our nation is witnessing a serious retrogressive in terms of governance, in terms of sincerity of purpose, in terms of commitment to the development of our great nation. I'm sure with your support and the support of the teeming population of citizens of our dear nation out there, the desired change will certainly be realized. It is my hope and prayer that God in his wisdom will grant to you the patience, the commitment, and the determination to move our party and our great nation forward. I wish us God guide us throughout the period of this convention when you will be exercising your constitutional right to decide who carries the flag of ANPP to victory. I wish you happy, peaceful, and su successful voting exercise in this convention. God bless you all. ANPP! ANPP! A
ánimo The 2011 AMPP National Convention, many people say, has no historical precedence for being the first time all contestants took part in the presidential primary. In addition, it was free and fair as no delegate was influenced against his decision. conducting presidential primary. This is the first time that all aspirants running for the office of president have done so without any person being asked to step down. 
we are very happy and we are telling Nigerians that the time has come to give us the opportunity to save our nation. AMPP is ready. Are we ready? Yes! Are we ready? Yes! Are we ready? Yes! Are we ready? Yes! yes, we are ready. It is with happiness and great power that I, on behalf of all of us, present this certificate of return which is to certify that Nigeria will not be there because of the men. To our great party, the MPP, for conducting a transparent primary election. I am truly proud to be associated with the ANPP a party that has proved to Nigerians that there is still to be found in this country a party that is transparent, a party that is truly democratic, a party that respects every contestant, and a party that gives...